In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sell digital products on your WordPress website. And so just a very general overview of what we're going to be learning is, first off, what can you sell online? What type of products? Just ideas for that. What type of plugins will we actually be using and also other tools? So very generally, very briefly, what can you actually sell? So some ideas are just like ebooks, graphics, photos, or maybe if you have a tutorial that you want to sell. And the plugins that we'll actually be using is very easy to use, easy digital downloads. I'll have the link in the description and also a tool called Canva. And I've showed you a tutorial on that before and so I'll show that very briefly now. So what I want to do now is actually talk about easy digital downloads and how you install and how you ultimately use it. But before that, what I want to kind of clear the air is what's the difference between easy digital downloads and other WooCommerce plugins. And so easy digital downloads really should only be utilized when you have to try to sell something just digitally, like an ebook, like a PDF, I mean, like a plugin or like a theme, things like that, right? Things where you're just trying to download something. The user is just trying to download something, they're trying to buy it. Versus a plugin like, for example, WooCommerce, which is an e-commerce plugin on WordPress, it's more for actually shipping out things, right? You'll, you'll be getting addresses, things like that. We have to make invoices and, and ship things out. Um, and you have a lot, of, it's really showcasing a lot of different products. Easy digital downloads, um, I think, yeah, it definitely can showcase a lot of items, but that's not really what it's necessarily designed for. More, I would say, more like for eBooks. Or something digital where the user just has to download something off a, off your website itself right so what I want to show you now is actually how we utilize it so we're just going to download it off the easy digital downloads and we're just going to upload it like a normal plugin or we can also search for it in the WordPress directory and so once everything is activated all we're going to do is go find this new download section and we're just going to click add new and so what I went ahead and did is I created just this new download and what I did was uh, I just made some sample content you know just ebook test put a bunch of description this is where you would actually describe the content um, and you can think of this just like a product page you know this new download page is going to be just a product page where you're going to try to sell whatever it is that you want to sell and so you can put HTML things like that just like a typical post. Um, and you specify the price and there's uh, variable pricing like with discount codes and coupons things like that uh, you can even categorize them but here's where it's kind of gets uh, a little bit different where this is really the power of easy digital downloads is that you know typically when you want to have your users download something they have to you have to upload it into your FTP or file manager uh, but with this you just upload it just like an, an, an image right so what I did was you just click upload files you drag it or, and drop it into this file and what I did was just create a test ebook.pdf file and so I just you can just select that and insert into the post and then this will actually be uh, users cannot find it right they, there's not going to be Google search they won't be able to find it so they can just download it like that you know, they will have to actually purchase um, the product in order to gain access to it so that's what's really nice about this um, specific plugin right and so Another thing that you're going to note is that I guess everything else is just, you know, little little tidbits here and there, little download notes, excerpt, things like that, that you can obviously add in. This picture, right, this picture is going to be your featured image picture, and it's also something that you can potentially post uh, within your actual product page. But what I wanted to talk about is since this is kind of a comprehensive review of how to create or how to sell online products, I figured why not show you also how to make the actual design right so most people have to eventually pay for some type of software so some type of website to make ebook covers and some of the ebook covers typically now are kind of overdone just because you know they all look the same and they kind of look more like advertisements rather than actual um, you know book covers so one thing that I have shown you before is this canva website and so it's a free graphic design tool where you can really create any type of uh, designs and they have all these different templates and what I went ahead and did make a free account and I chose this Kindle cover right so this Kindle cover is just like a book cover so a lot of their pre-made themes are gonna look like Kindle covers or book covers and so you can just choose anything that you like you know typically because it's it looks more I guess I would say more professional and less advertised like um, that potentially can have its benefits so yeah you just create it I just changed one little thing I think I used 
Let's see, I use this design plus. I just changed it to ebook just to show you. And all you're gonna do is link and publish, and it's gonna be free because we didn't use any uh, premium themes or premium pictures, and just download the image. And I already went ahead and downloaded it, so I'm not gonna really show you any more than that. Um, so what we want to do now is we're just gonna go into the actual page that we created or the download page that we created. Uh, we're gonna click publish. Obviously, I already published it, but since I haven't changed anything, all I want to do is show you the download. So you're just going to click view download right now and then once it opens up and the website actually is going to be you're at your domain.com slash downloads slash and the product name and you can remove all these sidebars you know like a typical page or typical post you can treat it just like that right so this is the product you know this is the product where they describe what it is um, you know has the title you can add the picture if you would like and they are able to purchase it right so at the very bottom you can purchase the actual product right so Let's see what it looks like when we purchased it. And so I guess before we actually, well, I'll, I'll describe how we set up the actual payment plan in a second. But what, what it is right now is just a, a test mode. It's just the test mode for PayPal. So when they check out, normally it'll go straight to PayPal. But since I'm in the test mode, it's just going to go straight to actually they bought the book. And now let's see what they, they see. right? And so we see that this is their checkout page. This is their, uh, I guess you can think of it like a cart. And so they can fill out their email address, their name, their, their last name, and then they're going to see the total. And they can add coupon codes uh, if you specify that there was an option for variable pricing. right? So it's just like a, a typical, I guess you could say, like an e-commerce page, uh, but it's very simple. It's, it's much more simpler because everything is downloadable. right? So when they purchase it, um, so they're going to have two things. So this is now going to go to the PayPal page but since we're in test mode it's just going to go straight to the purchase confirmation so now that we we see all this right payment method for now is just a free purchase simply because you know it's a test version um, all this information is going to be sent to us right so we're going to get an email as the admin and also uh, the individual who bought the item they're going to get a, a download um, invoice as well as the link to actually download it and so they simply click on it test ebook and it's just going to download just like a normal file would, right? So that's pretty much it. You know, that's it. all there is to the plugin. Very, very simple, but, you know, exactly what you would need for some type of sale of a digital product, right? So now what I want to show you is actually the settings page for a payment, right? Because that's very, very important. You want to get paid. You don't want it to always be in test mode. So how do we go about doing that? So we're just going to go into downloads and then go into settings and this is your general settings and right now I have it uh, in the payment gateways I have it as just a test mode so we'll, we'll see how this looks like right pretty much all this is pre-made for you all these different checkout pages success pages all these things are pre-made for you so if you want to edit anything if you want to add uh, different text remove sidebars you can just find uh, these pages and you can just fix them right and they're all through short code so once you go to the actual checkout page all it's going to have is download uh, underscore checkout short code um, and there's just some currency settings that you can do here some you know um, tracking settings as well and so let's go to the payment gateways because that's the probably the most important part and so right now in the test payment what you're gonna do is just switch to the PayPal standard um, if you want to put the icons underneath what what type of uh, payments do you accept MasterCard Visa things like that very simple all you're gonna do is put your PayPal email address and it's it's really that easy and so um, you know, you can obviously test it out, try it, try it the first time to see if you can um, create something, uh, and and you know you can edit the the price so it's much lower. So you can kind of test out how everything would work with the PayPal settings that worked into it. Um, but it's very very simple, very easy to use. Uh, not much to it in regards to settings that you have to change. There's a bunch of add-ons that I'm not really going to go into, but that's pretty much all we would ever need. Um, just to sell some online goods. And these are a bunch of other settings that you can browse through uh, just for taxes and emails, miscellaneous things, things like that. So the two additional features that I wanted to show you were actually the short codes and the widgets that they have. And so the, the well, what you would do to find the actual short code is go into downloads and all downloads. And you'll find these purchase short codes similar to any other short code, but if you had a bunch of different um, 
products that you're trying to sell, there's going to all be in the downloads page. And so you'll see the first one that we made and the only one that we have is the ebook test. So we're just going to copy that short code uh, and paste it over into any post, right? You, you would imagine you may want to use this if you were just uh, talking about all your products on one page or if you wanted to have a, a separate, besides your actual download page, besides your actual uh, product page, you want to just describe it, right? Or wanted to put it in the sidebars, whatever it is, you just paste it in here and we're going to update it. And we'll see how that looks right now. And we'll see that we've seen this button before. Uh, it's just the typical purchase button, but originally it was at the very bottom of our product page. So the second thing that I actually want to show you is actually how to utilize the widgets. right? So you'll see in your widgets, now you have three more, which are the download widgets, the downloads cart, downloads categories and tags, and download details. right? So what I did is I just wanted to show you the cart. Uh, you can kind of play around with the other settings. And so we just put it in there and we'll see right here that now your cart is empty. And so you can decide where you actually think that the widget should show up best. Um, and what I want to show you is just when they check out, right? When they check out, you'll see that the cart is added here. Um, and as you notice, the page didn't reload. It's because it's powered by Ajax. So what that means is everything uh, doesn't need a second reload, right? And that's going to just, I guess, enhance the user experience, right? And if they remove it, very simple. Uh, they can just remove it there and then now they have the option to purchase it again. So I think that's kind of nice as well.